Hey guys, welcome to Imminent Threat Solutions. Today we're going to build a DIY dead drop key hider out of a common household sprinkler head. So if you live in the south or anywhere where you're irrigating your lawn, you may have seen these before. Um, this is the pop-up variety that's got a spring in it and it basically pushes the sprinkler head up and down as the water pressure comes into the line. So we're going to actually take one of these apart and turn it into a dead drop or a key hider. You could use it for either of those things. So if you wanted to pass a message back and forth between your neighbor, uh, you have a confederate that you want to confide in, you could use that. Um, or you could just turn it into a key hider like we'll show you today too. So um, the ba the basically why we're using one of these is because there's they'll be a hollow cavity inside here and that's what we're going to use to to be able to store the key. So before we take this apart and get into the DIY, let me go through some of the things you're going to need other than this. This is called a two inch pop-up sprinkler adjustable pattern made in the USA. Make sure you buy it made in the USA. All right, so the other thing you're going to need is a half inch piece of PVC and this has got the threaded end on the bottom which interfaces with the bottom of that. So in addition to that piece, you also need some super glue. Um, you'll need a lighter for fusing some cordage and what we're going to use is basically some dummy cord. You need a small section of that, probably a six, inch, six to eight inch piece. Um, Phillips head screwdriver and also a hacksaw. So let's get into how we're going to assemble this. Alright guys, so one more thing we've added here is obviously the house key since we'll be showing how to turn this into a key hider and a dead drop. So taking the sprinkler head, you're going to take off the top lid here and pull out the guts and leave this to the side here. So basically what you're going to need to do is compress this spring and unscrew the top of this. Set that to the side and there's a little gray insert. Um, it's like a filter. Just set that off to the side. You won't need that at all. So pull off that white gasket. You're going to need that. And the spring is not necessary anymore. And neither is this little white ring and neither is this piece. So throw all that away don't need it. I mean, you could repurpose it for something else if you were so inclined. So now what we're going to do is take this and we're going to glue it into the, uh, the white grommeted piece. So take some super glue and I'm just going to put this around the edge here. So, without getting super glue on my hands, pop that back in there and let that dry. Um, so while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put some super glue around the inside ring of this right here. And this is where that rubber gasket is going to interface with this piece. All right, so now as that whole thing dries, I'll kind of explain the other part of this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to back out this screw that's right there. And by doing that, we're going to attach the thread. So make sure that this is good in this position. I'm actually going to put this on a paper towel just in case. All right, so what you're going to do with this six to eight inch piece of dummy cord, which by the way we sell in the ITS Tactical Store, if you're so inclined to buy some from us, we're basically going to tie a slip knot, and I'm just going to do that with kind of a double overhand knot. Like so. And now you've got a, a knot that will basically self-tighten as we place it onto that screw. So in the other end, take the key and I'm going to tie that line. So through the key like that, there's a hole one around. We have a whole knot of the week video just on tying a bow line. So make sure you check that out if you don't know how to tie a bow line. So now we've got a bow line in one side of the key, a slip knot in the other. And hopefully, let me check real quick, but this should be, yep, pretty dry. So now what we're going to do is back out that screw I was mentioning. Take that loop on the slip knot. Go ahead and slide that down onto the screw and tighten that back up. 
So now that won't come off. Now you've got the key attached to the top lid. So at this point, there's a couple of things that you can do with this, and I want to explain that before we get into the rest of the construction. So optionally, what you can do is you can actually make sure that this is, or you can seal this so that it actually becomes watertight inside the, the, uh, the fitting there or the, the pop-up sprinkler head. So when you put on the pipe, you can basically fill this area here with some silicone, and you could even silicone that inside as you're screwing it in, and then by doing that, that's now watertight, the top's water tight once the gasket, so that white part is a gasket, once that's on there it should be pretty watertight. If you're still getting air coming in, you know, you could throw some silicone in here too because that may be where it's still leaking. So I'm not going to do that. Um, honestly, I'd, there's no point because I'm just going to be demonstrating this as a key hider. So what you're going to do with this piece of pipe is you're going to angle cut it. So I've got a small section, this is about six inches, and what we did is just took the hacksaw and slice this at an angle. You can see that there. And I'm just going to screw that onto the bottom. So the purpose of the angle cut is that once this is assembled, you can now shove that into the ground because of the angle cut. And if you have to somehow grab your house key, you can use this as a defensive weapon too. So there you go. So now what, all you have to do is take your key, drop it into the compartment, and because the bottom is not silicone, this key actually fits into the, the attachment there. Go ahead and put the string down, screw that back together, and now you've got the DIY dead drop key hider. And all you do is go outside, shove that into the ground in your grass, and push it down to where the head is basically below the grass line, and you'll have a hidden compartment for the keychain. Another benefit here is you can actually shove this into the ground and just remove the, the top part that has the key attached to it and leave the base into the ground. So then you can grab that lid, unscrew it, take it to your house, unlock the door, and replace it without having to remove the whole device. So another option too, remove this and remove the lid here, is that what you can do as well is you can buy one of these half inch flex adapters and this is just another option for the bottom here. So if you had this flex adapter on here, you can now buy a basically a flexible PVC pipe and you can take this and you can put that onto the bottom. So this is basically a diversionary technique, I guess, if, uh, if you needed it. You know, you could cut this, you know, however long you needed it. This is a 24 inch length. You don't really necessarily need that much, but if you were to bury all this underground, if someone decided to pull this up, um, this tubing would come with it and they're more likely to think that it's a legit sprinkler line in the ground. So just, a, uh, just an option um, that you want to try out. So if not, you can go back to your original configuration and have yourself a uh, DIY dead drop key hider. So another thing you can do too that I wanted to mention is, you know, you can hear a key rattling around in there. You could kind of put some foam or something else in there to, to deaden or damper that sound that's coming from this. So if someone did remove it, they wouldn't hear the jingle of a key. Um, that's just another added bonus there. So be sure to let us know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments, and hopefully you enjoyed the DIY Dead Drop key holder.